Welcome to Dang Dang Ka Channel. Category Celebrity Biography. Confucius Chinese Philosopher by Britannica.com. Confucius, Pinyin Romanization Kung Fuzi, or Kung Tsai, Wade Giles Kung Fu Tzu, or Kung Tzu, original name Kung Yu, literary name Zhang Nai, born 551, Kfu, state of Lu, now in Shandong Province, China, died 479 BCE, Lu, China's most famous teacher philosopher, and political theorist, whose ideas have influenced the civilization of East Asia. Confucius's life, in contrast to his tremendous importance, seems starkly undramatic, or, as a Chinese expression has it, it seems plain and real. The plainness and reality of Confucius's life, however, underlines that his humanity was not revealed truth but an expression of self-cultivation, of the ability of human effort to shape its own destiny. The faith in the possibility of ordinary human beings to become awe-inspiring sages and worthies is deeply rooted in the Confucian heritage, and the insistence that human beings are teachable, improvable, and perfectible through personal and communal endeavor is typically Confucian. Although the facts about Confucius's life are scanty, they do establish a precise time frame and historical context. Confucius was born in the 22nd year of the reign of Duke Xiang of Lu, 551 BCE. The traditional claim that he was born on the 27th day of the 8th lunar month has been questioned by historians, but September 28th is still widely observed in East Asia as Confucius's birthday. It is an official holiday, Teacher's Day. In Taiwan, Confucius was born in Kfu in the small feudal state of Lu in what is now Shandong province, which was noted for its preservation of the traditions of ritual and music of the Zhu civilization. His family name was Kong and his personal name Kaiyu. But he is referred to as either Kong Tsai or Kong Fuzi, Master Kong, throughout Chinese history. The adjectival Confucian, derived from the Latinized Confucius, is not a meaningful term in Chinese, nor is the term Confucianism which was coined in Europe as recently as the 18th century. Confucius's ancestors were probably members of the aristocracy who had become virtual poverty-stricken commoners by the time of his birth. His father died when Confucius was only three years old. Instructed first by his mother, Confucius then distinguished himself as an indefatigable learner in his teens. He recalled toward the end of his life that at age 15 his heart was set upon learning. A historical account notes that, even though he was already known as an informed young scholar, he felt it appropriate to inquire about everything while visiting the Grand Temple. Confucius had served in minor government posts managing stables and keeping books for granaries before he married a woman of similar background when he was 19. It is not known who Confucius's teachers were, but he made a conscientious effort to find the right masters to teach him, among other things, ritual and music. His mastery of the six arts, ritual, music, archery, charioteering, calligraphy, and arithmetic, and his familiarity with the classical traditions, notably poetry and history, enabled him to start a brilliant teaching career in his thirties. Confucius is known as the first teacher in China who wanted to make education broadly available and who was instrumental in establishing the art of teaching as a vocation, indeed as a way of life. Before Confucius, aristocratic families had hired tutors to educate their sons in specific arts and government officials had instructed their subordinates in the necessary techniques, but he was the first person to devote his whole life to learning and teaching for the purpose of transforming and improving society. He believed that all human beings could benefit from self-cultivation. He inaugurated a humanities program for potential leaders, opened the doors of education to all and defined learning not merely as the acquisition of knowledge but also as character building. For Confucius the primary function of education was to provide the proper way of training exemplary persons, junzi, a process that involved constant self-improvement and continuous social interaction. Although he emphatically noted that learning was for the sake of the self, the end of which was self-knowledge and self-realization, he found public service integral to true education. Confucius confronted learned hermits who challenged the validity of his desire to serve the world. He resisted the temptation to herd with birds and animals, to live apart from the human community, and opted to try to transform the world from within. For decades Confucius tried to be actively involved in politics, 
wishing to put his humanist ideas into practice through governmental channels. In his late 40s and early 50s Confucius served first as a magistrate, then as an assistant minister of public works and eventually as Minister of Justice in the state of Lu. It is likely that he accompanied King Lu as his chief minister on one of the diplomatic missions. Confucius's political career was, however, short-lived. His loyalty to the king alienated him from the power holders of the time, the large Ji families, and his moral rectitude did not sit well with the king's inner circle, who enraptured the king with sensuous delight. At 56, when he realized that his superiors were uninterested in his policies, Confucius left the country in an attempt to find another feudal state to which he could render his service. Despite his political frustration he was accompanied by an expanding circle of students during this self-imposed exile of almost 12 years. His reputation as a man of vision and mission spread. A guardian of a border post once characterized him as the wood and tongue for a bell of the age, sounding heaven's prophetic note to awaken the people, and Alex, 324. Indeed. Confucius was perceived as the heroic conscience who knew realistically that he might not succeed but, fired by a righteous passion, continuously did the best he could. At the age of 67 he returned home to teaching to preserve his cherished classical traditions by writing and editing. He died in 479 BCE, at the age of 73. According to the records of the historian, 72 of his students mastered the six arts, and those who claimed to be his followers numbered 3,000. 